Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. How are you? How are you tonight? Are you ready? How was the weekend? Good evening, teacher. Great to see you. Jaime, how are you doing tonight? Is the, the weather is cool, teacher. Very the weather good. is the best. <laughs> Do you like yes. it? I like it. Why? Why do you like cold weather? Why do you like rainy weather? Why? Because no, don't uh, hot. <laughs> because you don't like you don't like hot weather. You prefer yeah. you prefer you say I prefer I prefer, I prefer. cold weather. Really? Huh? You play you play romantic music in your house, right? Relax. <laughs> Good yes, to yes. see you. Good to see you. Hello, Susana. How are you doing tonight? You look it's different. Fine. How are you? Fine, teacher. How was the weekend? Mm. Short. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad? Yeah. I went to watch the movie here. Um, Sonic 2. It was nice. Very funny. I recommend you guys. I recommend you that movie, okay? Sonic 2. <laughs> it's an animated movie. So welcome, Gilma. How are you tonight, lady? Um, I'm very I've, uh, uh, good. Are you sure? Very, are you uh, sure? Yeah. <laughs> very warm. Well. I'm happy to be in the English class. Ooh, I am happier than you. I am happier than you. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the class. I'm so happy Thanks. you're here. I'm so Thank happy you. you're interested. I'm so happy you're punctual. Hello, Miss Mercy. Do we have audio tonight? Miss Mercy. Very Vera. fine, teacher. Good morning. Good, good night. I, I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you say good evening, okay? Good evening. No good morning, no okay. good night. You say good evening. <laughs> it's a hello. Good evening. It's okay. a hello, right? How are you, Mercy? I can hear you. I can hear you very well now. So how are you? Uh, okay. Thank you. Fine. I, I have a, a good weekend because my sister has and uh, and my family have a go to the dinner for the the happy party. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, good for you. Good for you. Okay, so I'm happy to have you in the class, Maria Siguenza. Welcome. How are you doing tonight? It's okay, teacher. Thank you. And you? I'm good too. Thank you for asking. And how about Azucena? How's she doing tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm I fine. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> you and your cats are happy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rodolfo Cruz, how are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. Are we ready, sir? Yes. Ready to participate? Yes. Awesome. You are awesome, Rodolfo. Um, Noah, how are you doing tonight, Noah? Chavez, are we ready? How about Maria Flores? Are you ready, Miss Maria Flores? How are you doing tonight? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Wait, 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 wait. Noah is back. I I can hear you very low. Uh, Noah. Uh, hi, teacher. Okay, there you are. Okay, Good I can evening. hear you now. I can hear you now. What's uh, going on, Noah? How are you? I'm fine, teacher. I everyone. Um, how are you? I'm excellent, man. I'm happy to see you back. You know, after the weekend, have you in my class. It's really fun. It's great. 
So thank you for being there. Thank you for being tuned. Welcome to the class. Maria, you were telling thank me, how are you, Maria? What's new? Good evening. Um, I feel tired because I work on the weekend. <gasps> no kidding. So we have more money, huh? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 I'm a joker. <laughs> no, I'm happy. I'm happy that uh, you are very efficient and productive in your company, you know. Working on weekends, yes. it's not easy at all. So my respects to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But it's it's not every weekend, is it? No. It's no, sometimes. It's just just sometimes, okay, you're required to work on weekends. Let me say hello to Brian Ariel Hernandez. What's going on, sir? Good evening, teacher. I am very good. I am happy for the class today. Oh, really? Nice, nice. Okay. I'm happy that you like the class. I'm happy that you are like waiting for it right waiting for your english class is something like you treasure something that you treasure this hour is treasure no boyfriend no girlfriend no husband no wife in this hour okay only in this hour you are focusing the english language that's great <laughs> i mean i'm a mean teacher okay guys <laughs> let's go ahead and Keep learning English, okay? I'm going to share now my screen with you. Remember, if you have questions, you can ask me questions at the end of the video. And I'm expecting all of you to participate today, okay? So here we go. Hi, ready to begin? In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? <laughs> All right, lady. <laughs> Let's see. I just posted There's a picture of this a conversation on the WhatsApp chat in case you're not able to see it well. Um, now, I want you to see the conversation itself and find or tell me any word that is unfamiliar to you or any question about this conversation. Or is it clear? It's clear? Okay, cool. No, it's clear, clear, clear. Drops. What is drops? Drops. D R O P S. Yes. Bueno, pueden ser gotas, ¿verdad? Gotas. Um, cough drops. Cough drops. Como gotitas. Drops. Okay. What else? Dry skin. What is dry skin? Piel reseca. Piel reseca. Excellent. Thank you. Something else? Okay. So what we're doing here, guys, is that we're making requests. Repeat, requests. Request, request is a solicitude. Okay? Request is a solicitude. Okay? Request. But when you make a request in English, you have to be formal and you have to be professional and you have to be a very uh, polite. 
when speaking, when requesting something. Uh, it's not like in Spanish, like in Salvadorian language. It's very rude. So let's go over the conversation. Can you see the conversation? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Let's practice the conversation, okay? I'm going okay. to interpret Mrs. Guev's role and all my students, all of you, you will interpret the pharmacist. You will be the pharmacist, ready? Yeah. Let yes, me hear your pronunciation on three, two, one. Let's go. Hi, may I help may you? May I may I help you? you? Yes, please. Uh, could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, well, well I think I it's good to get a book of these cough drops. Thank you. Thank you. And um, uh, what did you suggest for dry skin? Dry salt. Dry salt. Okay. Very good. Okay. And one more thing. It's very good. My wife has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? We should try some of these multivitamins. There are excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Bar, bar, please. Bar. Not one, not two, three. <laughs> okay, now pronunciation here, it's multivitamins. Multivitamins. Guys, algo para ponerme aquí, um, tenemos un poco de interferencia con el audio, guys. I need your help with that. Please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Teacher, ¿podría yes. repetir de nuevo? ¿Cuál pa eh, todo, me dice el, 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 uh, la el conversación? Multi... Multivitamins. No, la... la... Ajá. Multi multivitamins multivitamins yes okay let's switch roles okay i'm going to be now the pharmacist you guys are going to interpret mrs webb's role ready ready hi may yes. i help you yes please i think i'm I getting think a call and getting a call okay could Pronunciation okay. is could. Oh. And then you link it with the subject. In this case, is I. So you will say, could I? Could I? Could I? Could I? Could I have? 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 Something. 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 Could I have something for a cough? Could I have something for a cough? Okay. My turn. Well, I suggest, suggest, well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what do you want for a dry Try some of these new lotion. It's very good. Okay. Can you suggest anything? And you suggest. Suggest. S U G G E S T. Suggest. Suggest. Can you suggest anything? Yes. He should try. He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Please. Notice how formal the request is introduced. For example, um, could I have, it says request, could I have something for a cough? That's a very formal way, could I have? Uh, can you suggest, or can you suggest it's not so formal, it's not really formal, right? 
Um, but every time you use could, yes. Okay. So we're going to analyze making requests with could, okay? Making requests with other module verbs. Okay. Yeah, should, should is for recommendation as well. So let me go ahead and one. So this is the objective, okay? Introduce to the use of the modal verb can, could, and may okay. for requests, requests. This is requests. what we're learning right now. Making a request in English is, is it, it must be made politely, okay? Politely. So that's why we use the modal verbs. Can, could, and may. Let's go ahead and watch this video. Take a look, take notes. Let's go. Hello everyone. This time we will be introduced to the model verbs can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests, suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write them in our discussion box. I want to show you a cough. May this I part. have a bottle of okay, aspirin? Once again, um, as you may see in this part, we have the ways you can introduce the uh, requests. Now, remember that can is not formal, okay? Can is the only module verb that is not so formal, okay? So you can say, can I help you? Mm, it's acceptable, but not recommendable. We recommend you to use may, okay? Yeah. May I help you? And, and the customer likes that. The question, right? May I help you? Repeat, may I help you? May I help you? May I help you? May I help you? Hi, good morning. May I help you? May I help you? Yes. Oh, customers like that. That's magic. Okay. Can I help you? Uh, it's like for your friend, right? For your friend, for your family member, right? Your brother, your sister. Can I help you, brother? Can I help you, sister? Right? But professionally, may I help you? Um. Repeat, can I have can I have a box of cough drops? Can I have a box of cough drops? Can I have? Can I have? Can I have? Can I have a box of cough drops? Can I have a box of cough drops? More formal, yes, could. Could I have? Could I have? Could I have? Could I? Could I? Could. 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 I. Could I? Could I? Could I? Could I have? Could I have? So, could I have something for a cough? Could I have something for a cough? May I have? That's super formal. May I have? May I have? May I have? May I have butter? Okay. What would you like? What would you like to use when you make a request? And this can be in your work also, right? When you speak to your boss, when you speak to your supervisor, right? Um, I'm sorry, boss. Uh, may I have a day off tomorrow? Yes. May I have? Could I have vacation next week? Yes. Could I have vacation next week? Um, what do you prefer to use? Can, could, or may when making a request? Can. 
can't. Can. can? Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. And then we have, what do you suggest? What do you suggest or what do you have? Yeah. What do you, deduction, what do you, repeat, what do you suggest? What do you suggest? What do you suggest? What do you suggest? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have for a headache? What do you have? What do you have for a headache? What do you have? What do you have? Okay. Suggestions. Suggestions. Try some of this lotion. Repeat. Try some of this lotion. Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. Suggest some ointment. Suggest. I suggest some ointment. I suggest some ointment. Um, you should you should get some ice. I'm sorry, skin. You should get some skin cream. Repeat. You should, you should get, get some, some skin cream. Skin cream. Skin okay. Cream. Great, 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 great. In that case, now uh, we're going to practice. We're going to practice these uh, questions, making requests formally, and uh, we're going to try to answer. Okay, we're going to try to answer. Uh, going back to the conversation. Let me check something here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to make questions, direct questions to our classmates not into practice. I'm going to start. For example, class, um, how do you say um, dolor de estomago in English? Stomachache. 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 Repeat, stomachache. 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 No hay E al principio, okay, guys? No me digan E, stomach cake, sino con la S. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Okay, so, class, I have a stomach cake. Uh, what do you suggest? What do you suggest for a, head, for a stomach cake? I suggest... I suggest some... Salandrius. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I suggest some salandrus. All right. I suggest. I suggest. I suggest. I suggest. I suggest. I suggest. I suggest some, and you give the medicine, right? The medication. Uh, si no, hay otra forma de dar sugerencia. ¿Cuál era el module bar? Who remembers? Should. Pronunciation. Should. Should. You should. You should. You should. Right. Usualmente get some. You should get some um, salandrus, right? <laughs> antacid. Right? Some antacid. Repeat antacid. Fantastic. You should get, fantastic. you should get some. Repeat, yeah. you should get yeah. some antacid. You should get, you should get some antacid. Could I have something for a headache? Mm. I should, uh, you should You should drink some aspirin. You should or you should? You should drink some aspirin. You should uh, acetaminophen. <laughs> you should take. You should, you should take, take acetaminophen. acetaminophen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody else? How do you say dolor de muelas? Two. 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 No. Toothache. Toothache. Could I have something for a toothache? What do toothache. you suggest? Visit the doctor. You? You should. You should. Visit the doctor. The doctor or the dentist? 
the dentist. Dentist. <laughs> okay. Uh, may I have something for a backache? What do you suggest for a backache? To choose day relax. Okay, I should you stay should, relaxed. Thank you. Maria, go ahead. You should do massage. You should you should you should get repeat you should get you should get a massage. A massage. You should you get should a massage. Get a massage. Yes. Ooh, that's a good advice. That's a good advice. All right. I have the flu. May I have something for the flu? You should take. You should take. You should take. No, I should. Or yes, con should, but how are you? You should. You should. You should go to bed. You should go to bed. You should stay in bed. You should get some rest. Yes. You should drink a tea. You should drink some tea. Yes, you should drink some tea. Yes, definitely. You should use mask. You should use a mask, should, a face mask. Use a mask, face mask. A face mask, okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, awesome. So, can you make a request? Could I have? Can I have? May I can have? Can I have? May I have? May I have? Volunteer? Can may I help you? May I help you? Uh huh. Help. Make a request, guys. Make a request. One volunteer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can I have a box of cough drops? May I have a box you? of cough drops? Cops Thank you for drops. the question. Thank you for the question. Tell me a problem. Tell me a problem you have and your request. <laughs> Tell me a problem, a health problem that you have. For example, could I have I something for body pain? You know what is body pain? Body? No. Body? Pain. Can I have something for a body pain? Hola? What is back pain? What is that? Body is cuerpo y pain is dolor. Body pain. Yes? Yeah. Uh huh. Can I have something for a body pain? Uh, watch the audio guys watch the audio could you some aspirin i'm sorry could you some aspirin you should you should you should take could you take you you should miss you uh -huh. Should. Uh, take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uy, se me fue una extra hoy. You should. Ah, yes, you should. Okay. Watch the audio, please. I think somebody. Um, let me see. Other problem. Other problem. Teacher, what do you say? Uh, stressful is correct to say? Stressful, yes, I feel stressful. stressful. Or puedes I'm, decir, I'm under stress. Under stress. I'm under stress, under too much stress. Okay. Can you suggest uh, uh, for the stressful? 
puede decirme, can yes. I have, can I have oh, can something, I? can I have something for the stress? Oh, okay, can I have, okay, can I have something for the stress for? For the okay, stress. Okay, guys, stress, uh huh. Can, what do you stress. suggest for a stressful person? You should do exercise. Yeah, you should do exercise. That's good. That's good. Thank you. If you're stressful, you should listen to it's relaxing music. To visit a doctor. Yeah, you should visit the doctor also. Yes, also. You should listen to music. Yes, you should listen to music. Try to. Puedes usar esa forma. Try to listen to music. Podemos usar I suggest y podemos usar you should. Quiero que usen try, I suggest, and you should. If, if Mercy is under stress, let's suppose that Mercy is very stressful right now. So what's the, the suggestion? I suggest to listen to music. Yes? I suggest take vacation. Correct. Or, or take a break, right? Take a break or take a vacation. It's a good suggestion, huh? It's a good suggestion. <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent. What about? I suggest uh -huh. I sleep well. Yes, I suggest some sleep. Yes, to sleep well. What about for muscle pains? I have muscle pains. Could I have something? Could I have something for muscle pains, guys? What do you suggest? Muscle pains. You should take a massage for the muscle. <laughs> Pronunciation should. Should. You, you should. should get okay. You should a massage. A massage. You should. You should get a massage. Okay. Yes. Uh, and you, you should, should use. Go ahead, Jaime. You should put dollar cream. Dollar cream. <laughs> ¿Cómo se llama el otro? Este. <laughs> Marihuana. Big. But... <laughs> Marihuana. Yes, stay Marihuana. <laughs> no, pero el, en realidad se dice ointment. 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 Que okay. es todo lo que abarca lo que es el cofal y todo eso, ¿verdad? Valga el comercial ahí. <laughs> ointment. Ok, very well. Any questions so far? So far, so good. Teacher, what yes. is ointment? Es como algo mentolado, Miss, como la, como este que se usa, huento le decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad que sí le decimos? Huento, teacher. ¿Verdad que sí? En español. Huento. Lo que se echan los jugadores antes de, antes de practicar. Bueno. Cofal, uh -huh. y hay muchas otras marcas. Oimet, ok. Ken. Ken. Making requests. Making requests. Everybody. Can I have your phone number? Can I have? Can I have your phone number? Make a request. Can I have your name? Come on. Can I help you with my translation <laughs> to the English? <laughs> and can I help you with my, entonces sería, can you help me? Can, can you, you help me? me with my translation? Yes, can you help can me? Can you help me? Es también una, un request. Yes, can you help me with my translation into English? Yes, of course. Come on, guys. Can, 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 request. Come on. Can you help me with my homework? 
Can you help me with my homework, please? Fíjense, si usamos la palabra please, eh, a pesar que estamos usando can, que es informal, la palabra please lo hace formal. So one word is magic, okay? Uh, can you help me with my homework, please? Come on, can. Another one, can. Please, can I have the men menu? Can I have the menu, please? Can I have the menu? Good job, Gilma. Good job. Give me can, 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 can. Request with can. Can you hear me one minute? Can you? Hear me one minute. Hear me. Okay. Can you hear me for one minute? For one minute. Can you hear me for, for one, one minute? minute? Yes. Cuando es un periodo de tiempo, vas a usar for. Okay, Rodolfo? Okay. For one minute. Yes. Vámonos yes. con could. Ahora sí, esto es más formal. Okay. Estamos ya en un ambiente ya laboral, right? Empresarial. Could I have? Could I have? Vamos. Could I could have? I have, could I have crossed the streets? Would I have crossed the street? Would I have crossed the street? Mm, we have two verbs there. Have and cross. So you need to decide which is the principal verb. Okay. Formulate. Could formulate. I formulate. Could I have the report today? Ooh. Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have the report for today? Oh my gosh. Yes, but that's a formal, it's a very formal request. Y como decirle que no, verdad? Sí, could I have, very formal. Go ahead, next request. Could I, could I have? Could I have your name? Could I have your name? Could I have the spelling of your name, please? Yes, it's correct, it's correct. Could. Could come on practice. Could 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 I could I have to to speak about your experience? Could I have you listen? Could I have could I you have you speaking, speaking about your experience? Could I have you about your experience? Could I have you speaking about your experience? Can you repeat, Mercy? Could, could I, I have, have you, you speaking about your could I could I have you speaking about your experience? Es como que usted está entrevistando a alguien, ¿verdad? Puede puedo eh, hacerle eh, que nos que nos hable de su última experiencia, okay? So something like that. Thank you guys. Good participation. Very nice participation. Continue. Could could you do me yes could, could you, you do, do me, me a favor excellent could you do me a favor ay dios como decirle que no verdad could you do me a favor okay next 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 could could i have the beer <laughs> a beer Okay. No, beer. beer. A bird? Beer. Es como la cuenta o... Oh, the bill. bill. The bill. 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 Okay. The bill. Yes. Oh, my Could God. I have I'm the sorry. Bill. Could I have the bill? Yes. Could I have the bill? Um, uh, bill es como commonly with your electric bill, with your water bill, with your car bill, your phone bill, right? In the restaurant, in the restaurant, people say, check, check, please, check, please. It's like more common, uh -huh. but you can say, could I have the bill? Could I have my check? No okay. problem. Okay, next, could next, you give next. Me some, could you give me some advice for my interview? Could you give me some advice? Advice. Could you give me some advice for my interview? Nice question. Could you give me some advice for my interview? Good job. Okay. 
Thank you for your participation. Let's go with May. May is the most formal of all the module verbs. This is the super, 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 super formal. For example, in those call centers, in the customer service, in the service of the client, may, could are very used, very used. May, let me see, I think I have a message here. Bye, teacher. Okay, Maria. Bye, Maria. No problem. Um, May. Uh huh. May. May. Make examples. You make uh, pay the the bill. May you. May you. May you pay a bill. May, may you pay a bill. May may you pay a bill. Es bien poderoso y cuando lo usamos para una oración afirmativa, estamos diciendo que es bien probable que eso pueda suceder. Por ejemplo, I may become bilingual. I may become bilingual soon. Ok. Ese may become, llegaré a ser. Es como bien posible, bastante posibilidad, high possibility. Ok, so en preguntas, sí, formales, may I, may I help you, may you repeat that, please. May I show the, the profit and loss. Ok, may I show the profit and loss for this month. May I may have I the report. May I go to the bed. May I go to the bed now? Yes. Ah, para permisos. Oh, es super ideal para permisos. Yeah. May I, may I go out? May I answer this phone call? Yes. May I have your email address? May I have your... Phone number, please. Phone number. May I have your phone number, please? Oh, super formal. Man. Super formal. May I have your name? Yes, it's Caleb. <laughs> may I have some coffee? May I have a relationship with your daughter? Oh my goodness, that's powerful. <laughs> what are you practicing? <laughs> may I? May I have your documents? May I have your resume? May I have your attention, please? Yes? Come on, Hector, Bill, Jilma, Brian, give me examples. May I? May you speak in English in the class, please? May you, you give me medicine, medicine, teacher? May you give me medicine? Yes, may you give me medicine. Excellent, thank you. May you give me a cup of coffee? May you give me a cup of coffee? No sugar, please. May you. May I have some more French fries? May I have? May you lend, may you lend me your computer? May you lend me your computer? May you lend me your computer? May you call me later? May you call me? May you call me later? Later. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Eh, para identificar cuando yo puedo eh, utilizar el can, el could o may en alguna acción, ¿cómo puedo identificar para utilizarlos? O sea, ¿en qué momento tengo que usar could? Could and may is more formal. We may more formal. It's the professional. It's more professional. No se le your, escucha, teacher. Your microphone, teacher. Teacher. Hello, hello. Teacher, hoy sí. 
Oh, ok, ok. Go ahead, ¿qué decía? ¿Qué decía Mr. Noah? Go ahead. ¿O quién era? Es que la compañera estaba preguntando de cuándo usar el MEI. Y varios contestamos que eh, el MEI eh, es used más pro, profesional. For professional environments. Eh, can, you can use can with your family. Yes. Formal. Because it's not formal, yes. It's, you have confidence with these people. Your friends, with your friends, with your husband, you can use can, yes. Incluso, guys, okay, se puede usar can en, un, uh, en, en el trabajo, pero con su partner, digamos, con su pareja de trabajo, con su, el que está ahí a la par suya, ajá, ya, ya interactúan bastante, tienen confianza, can, ok, ya en otro nivel, como un jefe, como un supervisor, right, eh, como en un ambiente, digamos, eh, usted está en, visitando un hotel, está en una conferencia, está en una clase en línea, usted va a usar could, usted va a usar may porque usted va a sonar súper formal. Usted quiere sonar súper uh, profesional. No, no vamos a usar Ken, por ejemplo, en, en, una, en una entrevista, right? Porque usted quedaría como que confianzuda, ¿verdad? Que, que eh, quizás eh, no tiene manners, muchos manners, o no maneja lo que son los soft skills. Los soft skills eh, son las habilidades para hablar correctamente y profesionalmente, right? So, es importante tener esto en cuenta. Buena pregunta, Miss Gilma. So, en un ambiente profesional y laboral es mejor could and may, right? Very well, very well, very well. So, it's important to understand that you can make requests, que podemos hacer solicitudes con todos ellos, con todos ellos we can make requests, uh, como lo acabamos de hacer, right? Um, now, también podemos pedir permisos con ellos. Still, lo mismo. Can is not formal, could and may is formal for permissions. All right? Let's move on. You need to complete this part for me. Also this one. So we're going to finalize with the last topic. Let me see. That's going to be a conversation. Okay, here we go. Hi, welcome to another section. This time we will teach you words of agreements. Please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Okay, so we're going to try to become familiar with these three words. Ahorita no la vamos a ver así de lleno, right? Solo la vamos a introducir. So, S-O, to, T-O-O, -O, right? Neither, repeat, neither. 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 And either. 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 Don't confuse either. neither with either, okay? Um, either. They are similar, okay? But what's the pronunciation? Neither. 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 And the other one is either. 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 Okay. Neither. Either. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay, so look at this conversation. Jeff says, say, would you like to go out? to dinner tonight and Bob says sure where do you want to go Jeff answers well 
what do you think about Indian food? Right? Bob answers, I love it. But I'm not really in the mood for it today. Do you understand in the mood? Repeat, in the mood. In the mood. In the mood. In the mood. Do you know in the mood? No. Como, como no estoy como que de, de ánimo para eso, right? I'm not in the mood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. O sea, le gusta la Indian food. He says, I love it. I love it. But I'm not really in the mood for it today. Okay. So Jeff says, el, este es algo negativo. I am not really in the mood for it today. Can you repeat? I am not really in the mood for it today. I am not really, I am not not really in the mood for, for it today. It today. For it, for it, for it. Right. not really in the mood, mood, not really in the mood. I am not really in the mood for it today. Repeat. I am not, I am not really, really in the mood, mood for it today. today. It's a negative statement, correct? Yes. It's a negative. Okay. Entonces, cuando es negativo, usted no va a usar tú, va a usar either. Usted va a decir, I am not either. I'm I'm not yeah, either. I am not either. Repeat, I am not either. I am not, I am I am not, not either. either. Joff, jo, uh, that's, that's Bob. Bob said, I am not in the mood for it today. Like, I am not in the mood for Indian food. That's what Bob said. So Jeff feels the same. It's mutual. It's mutual, right? Entonces, uh, Jeff dice, I am not either. I, I am not either. I am not either. either. I'm not I'm either. Not either. How do you interpret I am not either in Spanish? Ya sea. Huh? Ya sea. Nope. No. Either is igual a neither. Tienen que hacer el mismo significado, así como tampoco. Correcto, correcto. Solo que se usan en, en diferentes formas, right? Entonces ahí es como que Jeff le está diciendo, no, yo tampoco. Ok, no es. Yo tampoco, porque eh, Bob dice, I am not really in the mood for Indian food. Entonces Jeff says, I'm not either. Yo tampoco, okay? No, so later, Jeff says, it's a bit spicy, okay? Do you understand spicy? Spicy. Do you understand Picante. spicy? Picante. Uh -huh. Quiere tacos. <laughs> Mexican food. Yeah, Mexican just like food. Mexican food. It's super spikes, yes. And this is Bob says, how do you like Japanese food? ¿Qué tanto te gusta? Japanese food. How do you like Japanese food? Right? Jeff says, I like it a lot. Repeat, I like it a lot. I like, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Super fascinating. I like it a lot. Entonces, ¿eso es affirmative or positive? Positive. I like it a lot. It's positive. Entonces, ¿cómo es positive? Bob says, I do too. Repeat. I do. I do too. 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 ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Yo también. Yo también qué? De acuerdo. ¿De acuerdo con qué? Con que la comida japonesa es buena. Es buenísima, correcto. Preguntón, ¿verdad? Que soy yo. No, pero sí, es correcto. So, good job, guys. Esto es lo que vamos a aprender el día de mañana. Tomorrow, tomorrow, to agree or disagree when something is uh, okay with us or not okay with us, right? No siempre vamos a decir me too, me too, me too, right? Cuando alguien decía algo negativo, I don't like pizza, me too. Mm, no. Ahí vamos a decir que I don't I like, don't like it either. So, that is something we're going to learn tomorrow. Moro. Vamos a ver, let me see, uh, what do we have? Gilma, Gilma Alf, Alferez, es así, Miss Alferez? Yes. Okay, Miss Gilma, díganos, como, how do you feel? How do you feel, Gilma, in the class? We have two minutes. Any comment, any suggestion, anything to say? I I do. Um, <laughs> me repite la, la pregunta, por Yeah, give us your conclusion. What's your conclusion for this class, Gilma? Oh, 
Uh, it's a difficult class or what? Difficult oh, information? No, it's clear. Clear, huh? Okay, give us your conclusion, Susana. My conclusion is a good class. <laughs> uh -huh. What did you learn? What did you learn? Uh, I learned uh, about the modal verbs. Correct. What did you learn about the modal verbs, Noe? What did you uh, learn about the modal verbs? Uh, our learner has a difference uh, with use uh, may and can. May uh, is more professional and can is more friendly. Friendly, ah, okay. So Jaime, can you give us an example using can uh, when you use a, a request with somebody you have confidence with? Yes. Uh, yeah. We use the can when I with a in my job, for example, with my with my partner. Oh yeah. Yes. What can you ask? What what can you usually ask your partner? Give us an example. Uh, for example, hey, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, for example. When a companion, hey partner, please, can you give me a cup of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it happens. Hey, can you give me a cup of coffee? Two sugar spoons, two sugar spoons. Yeah. It's, it's okay. It happens. Um, it happens. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he aplica exactamente el can, right? Because it's your friend. It's like your coworker, your close coworker, right? You have a connection with them. So that's yes. good. Yes, Excellent, I mean, sir. And my jefe, may I help me a cup of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Teacher Caleb told me. So. <laughs> only change, only change, and, and may. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, you are doing great. Congratulations for your participation, your enthusiasm, and your energy. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 p.m. All right? All right. Okay. All right. All right. Good, Good night, night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Be safe. Good night, See you tomorrow. Everyone.